You know what? It, you know what it made me. It, it's. It's. I. I wish he wasn't like this because I love these guys. But I listened to uh, Michael Imperioli and Steve Sharippa have a Sopranos podcast, yes, and it's. Yes. It's. I love it because of I, course I, you know like Imperioli is like so thoughtful, but sometimes he's just really ridiculous, but mainly very thoughtful. And Sharippa right. just just constantly just, throwing just goes, just yeah. goes. <laughs> and they were on uh i i heard a clip of them on rogan and uh and sharippa was just like you know exactly the type of like he's like they had to change some of the stuff with the cops yeah <laughs> stuff maybe they didn't have to change. you know just like okay dude i don't of even want to just be bacala for me of course but he was you- like saying like as soon as the blasio became mayor he like he sold his place in Tribeca and and like he was anticipating and I was just listening and I was like, I was really like, I was really like this man's terror is my like fantasy. I was, I was, yeah. I was like, do you actually think it's possible that like, right. they right. might like reform the fucking police and these like assholes will leave this like, really? Like, yeah, because I'm pretty pessimistic, but you're, you're giving me hope, Steve. Yeah, he's like, all the chains are going to leave New York. It's going to be nothing but these dirty artists doing their own thing. Where am I going to? Where am I going to? I want to go. I want to go to Chipotle. Right. I wanna, you know what I mean? Like, I moved to Vegas. And then I got back to New York and I realized there was a Chipotle here. And that's, you know, that's what, you know, you might not like him, but that's what Giuliani did. Yeah. And don't he get made me it wrong. Safe. I mean, I like, you know, I like the porn shops and whatnot, but right. You know, it was a different time. Give me the M&M store any day. <laughs> I shed a tear when the M&M store came to New York. <laughs> we made it, honey. Um, yeah, do you man. listen to that podcast? I, I, I'm waiting to do, I'm doing a f- full rewatch of the Sopranos over, uh, over quarantine and I'm on season. I'm about to start season six. For some reason, I just want to go fresh without listening. And then once I'm done the most recent rewatch, I will be doing I will be listening to the whole thing for sure. So I won't try to. Well, first of all, I want to invite you if you're ever up for it once a month for uh, for the patrons. Me and some uh, people like Waz and Nando are going to do uh we're going to do a, pay, a Sopranos rewatch because I, <laughs> I love it. I've watched the thing so many fucking times. But Mike Racine, too, if he'll come. Oh, on. So yeah. If you ever want to do that, that would be fun to have you. Yeah, on. man, I'd love to. I don't want to spoil the podcast, but they're, they're just the, the dynamic of Sharippa being like, you know, like really fun. I mean, he's great. He's just he yeah. is like a big hearted, really likable guy. But it's just like occasionally like Imperioli will be like. Well, remember that was a cutback to the first scene, and the clock said four fifteen. And, right. and then Sharip was like, "Yeah, exactly." So then, yeah. you know, <laughs> big pussy's coming on. He's a big hard on. Yeah, no, Shurippa, he's like bulldoze. Totally, they're a hilarious match because <laughs> Imperioli is totally like an actor first and foremost. You know what I mean? Like, yes. and that's the beauty of the Sopranos. It's like it's half incredibly like classically trained actors who happen to be, you know, to perfectly portray mobsters and it's half guys that wish they were in the mafia and Sh- and Sharippa is totally one of those guys he's like an old Vegas promoter it's like there it's like Sharippa is the kind of guy who fast forwards through all the therapy scenes you know what I mean he's like no he what? likes the therapy oh he scenes. likes the, he likes the therapy he loves scenes. it okay he, lo- he loves it but it is that kind of like like so Tony's being a hard on and Dr. Melfi she gets it she's yeah, yeah, you know yeah. she's she's got some some fucking savvy to her that, you know, yeah. Imperioli would be like, you know, well, that was the same time that he mentioned the dream in the last episode. You know? Right, right, like, right. <laughs> totally, totally. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I love it. I can't wait. I, I honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm pacing myself on it's the Sopranos. Sopranos has to last me. I need Sopranos content constantly while we're, while we're locked down. So I'm pacing myself on that. You just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks, everybody.